Good morning, this is Sheila from My Card Stock Creations, and um, I finally have the, the pieces made to do a tutorial on this, and um, this is my waterfall pocket folio. I had um, <clears throat> uploaded a video like last month, I think. And it's everything's made out of cardstock and um, decorative paper. I didn't use any chipboard. So this is what it looks like when it opens up. And there's two sections here, and you have three waterfall pockets going this way, and three going that way, and the same on this side. So I do have <clears throat> these kits available on my website um, if you're interested in purchasing one. And for this week only, I have an extra little bag filled with some decorative things that you can add to your uh, folio once you finish it. So that's included only this week. What you get in the kit is everything you need to make one of the folios. You get all the cardstock pieces and everything's already cut to size. So all you have to do is glue it or tape it together. Um, but everything you need is in the kit. And like I said, everything's cut to size. You do not have to do anything except put it together. Also in the kit is a, um, a printed um, instructional booklet and I have some pictures at the sizes that you need if you want to um, cut them yourself again some other time but I also have this in the kit as well and this is available separately also and you can find that on my website too if you're interested all right so I'll put that aside for now all right so i'm going to pause this for one moment okay i'm back okay so we're going to start with the cover And um, I just want to mention too, if you plan on using this, carry this around in your purse, I would recommend that you use the Velcro as I have on this one. Only because magnet may um, mess up your credit cards and ruin the strip. So... I would suggest to use Velcro or any other kind of closure other than magnets. I do use magnets on this one. I think I'm going to use magnets or I might not even put anything on it right now. Okay, so first of all, you're going to take your cardstock, which measures 6 by 11, and you're going to put it on your scoreboard. If you don't have a scoreboard, you can just use a ruler and a soft surface. That not too soft, but um, put like a like a magazine under it or something so that you can um, be able to score the lines. So you're gonna put this on your scoreboard. I'm hoping that's in frame, and you're gonna score it at four inches. four inches at five inches then again at nine and again at ten okay so once you have your score marks 
you can fold on the score lines. Depending on how long this video seems to go, if this may be a two part because I don't want my camera to shut off in the middle of it, so we'll go so far and then we'll continue on the next video. I may combine them, I don't know, I'm not sure. Oops. But we'll see what happens. Alright, so now it should look like this when you fold it. So now if you are going to use magnets, I would suggest you add them now. Um, otherwise, you'll have to use the Velcro at the end because once you put your, your uh, decorative papers on, if you add the magnets after, then you have to find a way of covering it. Alright, so I'm not going to do magnets for right now. All I'm going to do is put my decorative papers on. So, like I said, everything is in the, um, everything you need to know are in the kit or the PDF file that you can cut your own. Everything is sized for you. Um, the kit, like I said, has everything you need to make one. And then you have the PDF um, booklet also so that you can make more if you choose to. <clears throat> These are really cute, you know, for a quick little gift. Um, say like a friend has a baby in the hospital, you can whip one up really, really quick to give to them so they can have it for their baby pictures and things like that. I mean, these are so useful for Mother's Day, um, to give to you know, the grandparents. And if you enjoy this video and like my other videos can you please hit the like button and you can subscribe if you choose to um, that way I know that you like what I'm um, offering you as in uh, PDF I mean excuse me as in tutorials that way you know I know what people like and I can continue with that type of video so it helps me to understand what people like in terms of tutorials. Okay, so that's the outside. Now I, I'm using just um, craft card stock for the inside, but you can use decorative paper if you choose to you can do whatever you want just like in the kits if you don't like the papers that are in there you can just change them out I'm just trying that out to see if people would be interested in um, purchasing the kits and if so I can do more I've only have a few on my website at the moment because I don't want to go ahead and make up a whole bunch and they're not gonna sell so I just made a few and if they sell then I can make more if you go to the website to purchase one and they're already gone you just gotta send me a email under the contacts on my website or you can even post here that you're interested and I can send you um, an invoice through PayPal if you have PayPal and then send you <clears throat> send you the kit which would probably be like a five day, five day turnaround depending on how busy I am 
So that's what it looks like with the papers on. All right, so now the next thing we would do is get the pockets ready and take out your scoreboard again. So you're going to need 12, there's 12 of these, because there's 6 pockets on each. So while I score those, I'm, I'll am i tell you what score before I do that. You're going to score at 4, at 4 inches, and then again at 8. Wait a minute, that's not right. Hold on. That's not right. What did I do wrong? Um, hold on, I gotta figure this out. 